Welcome back to Workout Wednesdays. Today is about nutrition. I lost 50 pounds and I kept it off. I'm gonna tell you what helped me, but I'm also gonna tell you what hurt me. I made a lot of mistakes, but once I figured out a few important principles, it became a lot easier. And I'm not by any means trying to say I solved the fat loss problem. Just some quick statistics coming out of the US. 32.5% of all men and women are overweight. 37% are obese. So combined, it's like 70% of people in the United States are overweight. So if there was a solution to it, I would have a lot of money. So obviously I don't, but what I can tell you is my journey, how I kept it off, and things that I think are very important. What spawned this video is that I watched another YouTuber's video, I'm not gonna say his name, but I really love his channel, and he's new to endurance sports, and he's doing all kinds of wacky stuff, just like I did when I was new to endurance sports. What are some of the wacky things that I'm talking about? Only eating fruit for three months? Only eating meat for three months? starving myself to the point where I eat 20,000 calories. All that stuff is so wacky. And when I look back on it with the fruit, for example, every time I peed, I pooed. Can you imagine? And I'm trying to like justify that this is working or something. One day I thought to myself, could you ever imagine Ovechkin, LeBron, Conor McGregor, any of these top tier athletes going to their coach one day and saying, I'm only, hey, hey coach, I'm only gonna eat fruit for the next three months. They would never do it. But what happens to us middle-aged men that get into endurance sports, it's almost like a hit of crack or something. Like we get addicted and what makes us wacky and we do these wacky things that I'm talking about. So what made, gave me the idea for this video is I saw another YouTuber doing some of this wacky stuff and it just reminded me of myself back you know, eight years ago when I got into the sport. What I saw was just setting up this crazy training day where it was just, you know, out for this marathon. And anyways, I love the guy, so I don't want to say anything negative about him, but it was just this crazy training day where he ended up passing out and hurting himself. The problem with stuff like that, it takes you weeks to recover from a day like that. And the reason why is because it's just so far outside your normal training and it takes years to build up a base of fitness where a day like that doesn't absolutely annihilate you. And what I've found out recently for myself, I last two years, I rode a lot. I was probably riding 22, 25 hours a week and this year I'm probably like 15 to 20 hours a week and what my coach was telling me is it puts less stress on the body on a day-to-day -day basis which regulates your hormones and your levels inside your body which so your body isn't completely stressed out and I found it this year easier for me to lose weight than any other year and I'm wondering if that's the reason is because I'm just not completely stressed, like my body isn't just completely stressed out from these workouts. So, but getting into the diet part of it, the principles that really helped me with my weight loss, number one, the body wants to hold its current weight. So if I weigh 220 pounds and I've weighed that for the last five years, that's the weight that my body wants to hold. So knowing that I need to get my weight down and to never go up. So if I get down to 215, great, hold it there, don't go up. I get down to 210, great. Just hold it there. And the longer I can hold lower levels of weight, the better off I am. So that's principle number one. Principle number two goes in hand in hand with principle number one, never gain weight. If I never gain weight, because what I, I would do is I would get to a place where it's like, okay, I lost 10 pounds, I'm on, I'm, I'm killing it, I'm crushing it, but then it gets hard. Maybe you lose 20 pounds and then it gets hard. Your, your return on how hungry you are doesn't pay off. I'm getting hungrier and I'm losing less weight. So if I got to the point where I got too hungry, I would just say, okay, this is a reset. I just need to chill here and just make sure I don't gain any weight, not focus on losing weight, but set, but look long term. And this is the next principle. What people do is they, fo they go, okay, three months. I'm gonna crush it in three months. I got a wedding, I got a race, I got some event, and I'm gonna starve myself. When I get there, I don't even care about what happens after. I just got this goal in three months and I'm gonna crush it. And what happens is people starve themselves, and this is exactly what I did. I starve myself. If you starve yourself, it will come to the point where you're gonna eat. That's what I did. I went on bender after bender. I would starve myself, I would binge. And that's the next principle. Never get too hungry and never get too full. And once I did that for a long enough time, or, or over a year, I just never wanted to get full. I like the thought right now where I see guys like crushing 20,000 calories, I'm like, oh, 
How could you do that to yourself? And when I see it, like, obviously, I don't know the science behind it, but my personal opinion is there's no way that's healthy at all. There's, there's absolutely no way that that's good for you. And like the thought of me doing that to my body, it just completely grosses me out. And then this brings the next principle, which is there has to be multiple levels of goals. So yes, the three month goal, that's awesome. You got nationals, you got a big race coming up, you got an Ironman, that's great. But that can't be the most important goal. You gotta have a longer term goal, a year goal, a five year goal. And this brings us to the next principle, is whatever diet you're on has to be the diet that you're gonna be on for the rest of your life. You can't be like, oh, I'm gonna crush it for three months, I'm gonna starve myself, I'm gonna lose 20 pounds, I'm gonna look awesome. You're gonna gain all the weight back, I promise you. It happens to everyone. And then not only do you gain the weight back, you gain back more, and then what happens is that hits your mind. It just absolutely crushes your mind. And that's, the, you know, and I'm, listen, this comes from my personal experience. It crushed my mind. I would get down, I would look good. The weight would come off and be like, oh, I look awesome, man. Look at me. I tell my wife, look at my abs, baby. <laughs> right? And then, and then, but I was starving. And I knew even at that level, the second I started eating, the abs were gone. And then, so of course I would eat because that's what we're programmed to do. If you get too hungry, you just eat and eat and eat. And there's, there's, it's not like in the old days where there wasn't any food. We got more than enough food to last us lifetimes over. So of course I ate and of course the weight came back on. And when that weight came back on, it just made my self-worth go right down to the floor where I felt like complete shit about myself because I felt like I couldn't control it. And the reason I couldn't control it is because I starve myself and no one can control it. If you get to the point where you're so hungry, you're gonna eventually eat and it doesn't matter who you are. Well, maybe some people can, but those people end up with serious health issues that have anorexia, you know, and it's, a, and it's such a shame, right? But anyway, again, these are the things that helped me and these are the struggles that I went through and what I did to overcome those struggles. And then this is the last principle is I focused on performance not the way I looked or my weight because some people are just gonna weigh more. Like I'm gonna weigh more than, I'm never gonna weigh 135, 40, 50 pounds. I'm never gonna weigh that. Maybe if I got cancer or something, but like for I couldn't diet, like I'm, I don't know how lean I am right now. I don't know my body fat percentage. I don't even know how accurate that stuff is. But I know right now, the, the leanness that I'm at now, that if I need, try to go any leaner, fast, too fast, it's going to take away from my performance. And I've tried it and I'm going to get too hungry. And like, so what's happened is I get down to this leanness about where I am now. And then sometimes I put back on five pounds and then sometimes, and then I take it back off. And, but I know if I try to lose too much weight, it's going to, it's going to screw with my performance. It depends on how much body fat you have. Because again, I'm about like 160, 165 pounds right now. I don't weigh myself too often because I find it messes with my mind. But I was 220 and then I got down to 200 and then I got down to about 185 and then I was hovering there for a long time. And then to get that extra kick to drop that last 20 pounds, I did a lot of fasting and, we're, and, and fasting, uh, you know, I'm not 100% sold on it because I, I have an issue with fasting recently and I'll tell you what that is in a second. When you have 20 pounds to lose and you got a lot of fat on your body, it, it, it's not, it, you don't have to worry as much about not eating enough. Like now it's back then I didn't have to worry about not eating enough. Now it's different. Like if I fast, which I do every now and then, uh, my training the next day sucks. So if I take Monday off the bike, I fast on Monday and I get back on the bike, do a hard workout on Tuesday. My Tuesday workouts are always crap. But then Wednesday, Thursday workouts, are way better than Tuesday. And it's because I fasted on the Monday. So you have to take that into account. And everyone's situation is different. I'm just telling you my situation and what worked for me because everyone's different. And, and I, got, I got a feeling that's one of the reasons they can't solve the fat loss problem. And like I said, I've tried all the diets. I've tried meat only, I've tried fruit only, I've tried keto, I've tried high carb, I've tried low, low carb, meat, no meat, I've tried it all. What I'm doing right now seems to work the best for me. Every morning I have about two thirds cup oats, a tablespoon to two tablespoons of nut butter, a quarter cup of raisins. I eat that in the morning and then I'll do my ride. And during the ride, I eat about 45 grams of carbs an hour. But at this time in the ride, especially on the longer rides, I allow myself to eat something like a butter tart, a Snickers bar, some, a cookie, something that I really like. And that way when dinner comes around, I go out for dinner 
and they're like, oh, should we get dessert? I'm like, nah, I have my butter tart earlier. That's what I do during the ride. After the ride, I have a smoothie, spinach, banana, berries, flaxseed, and sometimes I put some peanut butter in depending on how long of a ride it was. And then I might have some snacks, which would be fruit and nuts. And then at dinner, I would have a salad, small, small amount of meat, lean meat, lots of vegetables, as much vegetables as I can eat. And it doesn't really matter the type. And then I might, again, depending on how much training I've done, have some potato, a starchy vegetable. I try and stay away from the carbs in the evening after dinner. So I'll have a lot of nuts. And if I'm really hungry, I'll have some fruit, but I stay far away from like the starchy carbs, like rice cakes, stuff like that, crackers, and just try and keep it like whole foods. That's what I've been doing recently. And I found that that has helped me so much. You got to give yourself reasonable goals and think if I've been eating like crap and I've been fat overweight for 10 years, I need to give myself a lot of time to get it off. And in the society that we live in today, it's everyone wants a silver bullet, including myself. And we want magic. We're like, okay, we're looking for the little, we're looking for the hack. We're looking for the cheat. But in my experience, the only ticket is to do things that seem the most logical, that make the most sense. And what makes the most sense is to exercise every day, eat a clean balanced diet and do it day in, day out. And eventually you will look athletic and perform your best. I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe. I got the biggest giveaway coming up. My 5,000 subscriber thank you video giveaway. Let me show you some of the stuff. We got Schwelbe. We got some tools, heart rate strap, my wife's cookbook, absolute black chain ring, some SRAM red stuff. Please subscribe so you're notified so you can enter the giveaway. I'm giving all this stuff away separately so as many people can win as possible. Love you guys. Please like the video if you liked it and please comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.